Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Janna in high elo, Janna mid with hail bleeds. Um, I saw somebody talk about it before where apparently with the new Janna... We're about to find out. <laughs> uh, where because she deals bonus damage on hit, people think that she's very powerful with W max because you're also very quick. That being said, I feel like people are just kind of lying about the build being good just because it's only six damage on hit. So even if you take Hail Blades, I don't really understand why people are saying that it's like super broken, but we're gonna try it out. We're inside a high elo, so it's not gonna be that easy. We're playing versus a Zed. I have Ignite, I have Hail Blades. You know, I, I have Rune Page set up literally for only laning phase, and that's it, so... Throw W on him, apply my Scorch proc, back away. I mean, that's not bad damage, really. The problem is that Zed is one of those champions that can kind of farm from far away. Oh man, I'm gonna miss the melee. That sucks. I really wanted that. The melee is worth more gold, so... A little bit of poke damage on him again. There's Jarvan. It's clearing out my vision, but that's chill. I'm just trying to like zone him from the minions because he is missing quite a bit. We do have NATO, I believe, to stop the Jarvan as well, which is pretty nice, but will depend on how good I am at using it. I'm going to get ganked, and he's sticking around. I bet he's going to also stick around again. I feel like they're definitely going to stay. I'm just never going to use my Q. If I hold on to my Q, I might be able to run. Because I can always uh, try to interrupt his uh, knockup. So that's my goal. I can't get him from there. That's unfortunate. I mean, he has no potions left, but neither do I. So it's kind of a scary scenario to be in right now. Because I'm worried about his all-in. His all-in's really good. My one last auto attack would have killed him. But he might die to minion balls. Nice. I was going to channel my auto while also flashing away, but it didn't work out. That's chill, though. At least we killed him. Or itemization. I didn't look up anything about itemization, but I'm pretty sure we should still be going AD. I don't think that you're actually supposed to build, like, full damage. Uh, like, with AP, it just doesn't work out, so. I think the best bet that we have is just dealing really consistent damage with our autos, and I think Gale Force might be the, the way to do that. Yeah, that hurt pretty damn bad. No, my pink ward.
kill him with the autos, slowing him down with my W. I'm also like super fast, which is pretty nice. My wave clear isn't really the best. I'm just focusing on CSing right now. I don't want to miss any because uh, whenever you play something that's super jank, if you don't CS well, uh, a lot of times the only reason why stuff works is because you get a lead. So I don't want to make any mistakes where uh, I go even. I don't want to be even. I want to be ahead. Otherwise, how this is going to work? All right. Hail of Blades, Janna. Yeah, every single uh, post that I've read about it is like, it's super good because you do W max and you can disengage with it. But then it says nothing about build path whatsoever, which is kind of what I'm looking for. You know, that trade honestly wasn't that bad. <laughs> that trade was actually pretty good. I shielded myself. I walked forward. Uh, so I dodged one of his shurikens. Got Hailblades back now. Dude, if he didn't have his other shadow to go back, I could kill him there, but... Nice, I got that minion. Okay, so R ignite. That's flash, my bet. I don't know why I pinged that. Yeah, the damage actually seems pretty decent. When you build AD at least. I have no idea about the AP one. I just feel like Gale Force will be good because of the movement speed and also, I mean, this does have a super long cooldown, but if you use it effectively, it might be very valuable for finishing people off once they get low. So that's my perspective on it. Okay, wait, I found a link to the Janna build, but it shows crown, so we already messed up. No way, I actually took a turret shot? Ouch. I'm kind of dominating him, though. Kind of dominating him. I think that you should be a bit careful. If Jarvan ultis either of us, it's gonna... Oh, I guess you have flash, but I don't. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get ganked. Yeah, I can't even get back either. Oh, they both flashed. Okay, I mean, both of them use flash, so whatever. My death for two flashes isn't really that bad. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but I did the best that I could. You can't interrupt, like, Jarvan ultimate, so. Oh, dang. If only Pike was nearby. He just used his shadow and has no flash. Would have been the perfect timing to gank it, but oh well. Uh, These guys are full ED. I'm just going to go plated steel caps. I feel like being a menace is more important than the attack speed. Yeah, the stats that I'm looking up of the uh, Janna Hail Bleeds is a support win rate, but that doesn't mean that you can't try it out somewhere else in the same fashion. God, I'm so fast. Holy shit. Oh, wow.
Yeah, I'm not gonna fight this. See you later. Kaisi even flashed and healed. That guy is Gore Drinker, and he's super, super strong. Yeah, I don't think you should have baited. I kind of wanted to leave because I saw Zed was rotating, and... That guy does have no flash. Pike is rotating mid. He uses Shadow. No Shadow right now. He might have his ultimate up. Now he has no ult. My Pike is dead. And I don't think that Bran is going to be able to kill this guy. Dang, if only he landed that last Q, he probably would have died. Oh, that guy was worth a huge amount of gold, too, which makes it even more sad, just because uh, that could have been a really good comeback for us. But at least uh, Zed died, I suppose. It's not the worst. Are you just dead? I think you are, right? Is that ult? Oh my god! Dude, you're popping off! Oh my god. Had red buff on him too. That's pretty nice. Probably max shield next. That's a really good knockup. This guy might be able to one shot me if he lands everything. Ooh, I just took an electric U proc. Ouch. Uh, I have so much money, we probably shouldn't fight him. I mean, he has a better item than me, so... I think just leaving is probably best. Poor Draven. I can't even, like, roam top to kill that Camille either, probably. Dang, there's no way for me to even assist with this either. This is so sad. I don't think chasing them would be wise. Jarvan might be coming mid. I think he used his ultimate though. If he didn't use his ultimate, it's really bad. But if he did, then I think it's kind of chill. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is going on? What is that? Where'd that guy even come from? Come on. Oh my god. Well, at least they burned ultimate on you. My whole entire team's dying topside. I don't even think I can get there in time. Oh, wait. Brand was able to do some pretty decent damage, though. Nice. That's really good for you. Should I just go bot? Okay, managed to help kill that guy. I mean, it sucks. Pike is so damn squishy, man. He's literally dying to full combo of just a Jarvan. And that's, like, not a Assassin Jarvan. That's just a Bruiser one, so... 
It's really hard for him to just survive. I'm worth a bounty. Kind of sucks. I don't really want to give that to them. I'm also worried that I'm going to walk into Zed or something from a brush. Static Shiv could have been decent. I'll just ulti him away. I think ulti for ulti is chill. Okay, what do I really want to buy this? It's moving speed. Nasher's tooth. Let's just do it. Movement speed Janna. Ooh, there's Zed, but he has no ult though. Zed has no ult. He already used it. Uh, let me just farm out bot. If Jarvan's down here, I'm just gone. And he is. That's so frustrating. His ultimate's already back up, but he's almost dead, dude. No, man. The flashes always happen. Yeah, the enemy team always has first move on every single play. It's so difficult for me to try to find anything ever. But if we get into one good like team fight with brand i mean brand obviously is never going to be as useful as jarvan in these like skirmishes but instead of like straight up 5v5s he could definitely be way more valuable than jarvan just drops his whole entire kit on the enemy team and maybe that's winnable the thing is i'm not there yet brand is maybe gonna die before even being able to cast no he actually they're just ignoring him they're just ignored the brand the entire time what What? They just ignored him. They just went for Draven only. I mean, Draven does have three items, so he's really strong. Brand, Brand doesn't even have two items, shockingly enough. Not that he should have two items, but like for how valuable he is with only a Rylai's. <laughs> plot armor. Yeah, you have crazy plot armor, bro. <laughs> okay. Our Phantom Dancer is now completed. More movement speed in our build. Is there any way that I can beat this Zed in a 1v1? I feel like he's just too mobile. That's the issue. He just always uh, snaps back if he ever starts losing to me in autos. Maybe I should go... Oh, wait. Are they on that? I think they are. God, I attack really fast. I'm worried about base checking this Zed. Let's go group. Oh, there's Jarvan. Honestly, pretty decent fight. Gale Force! Oh my god. Dude, I think the Gale Force value is actually kind of big. 
Yeah, it has a super long cooldown, but at least I can like help out with like assisting the team afterwards. I imagine you just build this as standard Janna, kind of. You're confident that you can, uh... Dang, you got outplayed, man. I'm just gonna ulti just to heal my teammate because I'm worried about him. Jarvan did flash over the wall rather than use EQ, so I can't even, like, cancel his ability. But if I ran next to the wall, I could have maybe done, like, a... I could have maybe stopped him, maybe. I don't know. Zed alive, dude. Watch out for that guy. It's really scary right now. Static shiv, huh? Movement speed. I'll just buy the shard. There's three items I can go for. I guess I'll grab blue buff as well. There's no way I can beat this Camille in a 1v1, right? It would take so long to auto attack her down. Maybe if she didn't have plated steel caps, potentially. Well, she ran away. Everybody's dying. No, the Camille. Actually, Camille seems not able to finish off my Draven, so it's chill. <laughs> he actually flashed away, man. Come on. Let me auto attack you. He flashed away. This dragon's coming up super soon. I don't really have much to purchase. Oh my god. See you later, bro. That guy has a bunch of armor, so we're not ever going to be able to like deal that much to him. Because they don't have any pen. But that wasn't that bad of a poke without getting caught. It's better than nothing. He has no magic resist, so he should get demolished by this guy. Dude, everybody's popping off. He's trying to defend the tower alone, so he just gets caught out. I might have knocked up uh, the Kaisa. That's what I was trying to do. No, probably not. This might be game. I don't know if they can come back from this. Kaisa Flash, nice.
I was gonna solo kill her. Let me try. <laughs> My teammates are too good, dude. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary of me playing uh, this weird uh, Janna build that probably should have been AP, but like the Hail of Blades is very good for early game. I think starting off with like a Doran's Blade might not be that bad. Um, so. I'm going to give it to Brand. He popped off that game. I'm just like quickly glancing over at stats if anybody's ever played at AD. And I feel like nobody has. Wow, our damage dealt, even though there were many fights where I barely was even allowed to be part of it, was good. Because I expected to be like over here, you know? Maybe this was like a bunch of damage inside a laning phase or something. I'm not really sure. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next commentary. Farewell. Bye.